Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome to another video and you join me in my Mark 7 Golf R to talk a little bit around the new, um, well, Halidex, Haldex replacement for four-wheel drive system of the Mark 8 Golf R. So yeah, I'll, I'll get straight into the video really. So yes, um, welcome once again to another video, absolutely gorgeous day here in the UK, one of the hottest and muggiest, but um, yeah, absolutely beautiful to be honest with you. And um, yeah, I've just come back from a nice little gentle drive in the Golf R just to enjoy it really, just to cruise around. And um, yeah, it's it's um, proving me well, it's doing well, it's had its service, so it's all tip top really. Had its Haldex service as well on this. And um, just to give you a bit of a bit of context around this video, so the Haldex um, four-wheel drive system in this Golf R, they call it 4Motion, the Mark 7. And what it does is it's essentially a front bias system and the front wheels will always spin and then if it needs, the back wheels will spin. Now those back wheels will spin together, if that makes sense. They're not like independent of one another and yeah, vice versa. So what that can mean is it can relate to a little bit of a dull drive potentially for some. I find this car fantastic, but what um, BW have announced is that for the Arteon R and for the Tiguan R, they're going to sort of revise the full, full motion system. And um, what I'll do is I'll bring up on screen and actually I'll look through it as, um, on my phone as I talk to you, hopefully just in the corner there, of what, well, I just follow this German um, Instagram account basically, and they're pretty good. And they're basically changing the name of um, Four Motion to Talk Vectoring. Now this is oh, this is brand new. This is uh, this hasn't been something that's on like the T Rock R or um, even the Tiguan R. Obviously, that's a bit more of a larger beast. Um, and it's yeah, it's coming out in the Tiguan R. And, and it's coming up, up on the Arteon R. So I'll just read it a little bit here for you. So what does it say? So they're talking a little bit around the four-wheel four drive technology. So R performance. Torque vectoring is featured in the Arteon R and the Tiguan R. Now we don't know too much about the Mark 8 Golf R, but I'm going to suggest that this system is going to definitely be in that. Our brand has sort of changed to being very global. It's actually around in 48 countries. I never knew that. It's huge. So fair play to them. So they're going to, yeah, exchange parts all over. And it would be really surprising if I'm on a Mark 8 Golf I didn't have this new technology. Why wouldn't it? So as an evolution to the four motion drive, torque vectoring does not only distribute the torque between the front and rear axle, but also can dispense it variably between the right and left rear wheels. Four motion always features a 50-50 ratio between the, the rear wheels. With torque vectoring, it is possible to direct up to 100% of the of the drive torque towards the outer wheel while driving curves and hence to be more agile and smooth on the street. The drive can influence the torque splitter via the drive profile and the slider for DCC, direct chassis control. So that's cool. I always said it'd be good to have like a little bit of an extra feature on the new Mark 8 Golf R and this little torque vectoring stuff. Okay, torque vectoring has been done in the past and bits but it would be nice to have a little bit more of an entertaining drive when you want to. I'd imagine something like that might only kick in when you turn the traction control off, or maybe it'll be on when the traction control's on. It's a bit of a weird one. But um, let me know what you think about that, and would something, because it's going to be small changes in this, it's um, evolution, not revolution. Although this, yeah, it seems like a little bit of a step on from the Haldex system, the four motion system that is in this Mark 7 Golf R. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. And yeah, I found it really, really useful to actually sort of read about that. And um, I'll drop a link to the Instagram account that I kind of follow on that. And actually on the website, which is more obviously German related, <laughs> they've got a lot more information about it than on the UK site. There's really nothing on any of them. The Tiguan R, the Arsenal R, Golf R, there's nothing. Um, which is a bit of a shame because obviously you want to know what you're getting into before you purchase it. But I thought that was quite cool. Let me know what you think about torque vectoring as, in, as opposed to the 4Motion system on the Golf R. Um, of course I am speculating that it's going to be on the Mark 8 Golf R but it almost certainly would be and yeah a little bit more playfulness you know think I guess the Focus RS sort of changed the game a little bit as well in the Mark 3 with the way their four-wheel four -wheel drive system worked. This is going to be very much an easy dailyable car which hopefully is just a little bit more agile. You know I went for a smooth drive I really enjoyed this car I think it's a good laugh. Um, but yeah, every little bit can always help and certainly influence someone, people who are really in the know about the cars. So yeah, drop a comment uh, on what you think about that. And yeah, um, 
I'd really be interested to know your thoughts. But thanks so much for watching. Short little video here today. Um, I've got a video tomorrow which I'm going to be doing on the Mark 8 GTI because there's been a lot more reviews on that. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll release that on Sunday morning. Today is Saturday in the UK. <laughs> um, yeah, just admiring the blue skies. It's absolutely gorgeous today. But um, thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment as always. Like if you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.